It may even be one of my most challenging puzzles yet. Hey guys, well, I decided to film on the floor today because I realized, you know, I was sitting on my couch and I was looking at this shelf here and there's puzzles here that I haven't actually showed you and ones that I still need to open up that were sent from a couple of yous. And I'm also thinking as well, you know, the more I look at this, maybe I need to do like a little quickie reorganize now that I have a few more sets in stock here and, you know, kind of go through and see what else I can possibly put on the side to donate. But anyways, you know what? Let's move on to what I was given. Now this one was sent to me a few weeks ago and it's not that I forgot about you guys, I didn't forget, but I, I wanted to film this, you know, as I opened the, the packages so that you can get my genuine reaction from it. So let's see what we have here. It doesn't say who it's from yet. Hopefully there's a note in here. There is. All right, awesome. So this was sent to me from Laura and Laura sent me, oh, ooh, I love this. She sent me a city map puzzle of New York. And I, I don't know, I just absolutely love how little this box is. I love this artwork. You know, as most of you know, New York City is my hometown. So this is super exciting. It's 250 pieces. It's 13 by 10 inches when it's completed. It does include a poster. And I believe this brand is Talking Tables. And I must say, I really do love how this is a small count set because this is one that I could just pull out and, you know, have a little quickie session and, you know, kind of just reminisce about my life growing up in the city. And just by looking at this box here, you know, it's it has all like the main sites. I love how there's little images depicting the different neighborhoods throughout the city. And look at this, we even have a picture of a hot dog, a pretzel. You know that's a New York bagel up there. This is too exciting. I can't wait to work on this puzzle. This, this is gonna be some good, quick fun. So thank you again, Laura. This is fantastic. I love it. I can't wait. I can't wait to work on that one. Um, another one that I have here was also sent to me from one of you guys. And this one is called Magic India. The artist is Muriel Kerba. It is 1,000 pieces and it's 38.2 by 12.9 inches when it's completed. And the brand is Jekko. Did I say that right? I hope so. And Perry, who's also from Discord, wanted to send this to me because she absolutely loves this brand, which is from France. So I'm super excited because I've never tried this brand before. I'd never even heard of it until she mentioned it to me. And not only that, this image is fantastic. I love the colors. I love the artwork. We've got a lot going on here. So I feel like this is gonna be a really, really fun challenge. So once again, thank you, Perry. I, I can't wait to work on this one. All right, now I have another package here that was sent to me from one of you guys. And I can't wait to see what we got in here because it's not a small package. And oh my goodness. All right, this is taking me a minute to, you know, take it in because you guys know how I feel about the Haunted Mansion from Disney. And you know how I felt about my Haunted Mansion puzzle that I completed. And even though I get terrible flashbacks when I think about that puzzle, looking at this right now, I am over the moon excited. We have here a four puzzle set of Haunted Mansion images. This is a Disney branded puzzle. Each one is 500 pieces and they are 27 by nine inches when they are completed. Now this was sent to me from Becky because she knows me. She knows I love Haunted Mansion. And she does have a piece of tape here warning me that there may be some missing pieces, but that's okay. There's no way that I would turn down something like this anyways. So yeah, this is gonna be super, super exciting. And she also sent me, oh, this is gorgeous. I'm sorry, I just had to take a moment to take this image in because I, I instantly transported into it. But this one is called Pacific Coasting Beach Life. The artist is Daniel Kroll. It is 1,000 pieces and it's 18 7 8 by 26 and 3 8 inches when it's completed. And the brand is Artisan Puzzles. Now this is another brand that I've never tried before. So 
I'm super interested to see what, what this is all about. But as I said, I mean, this image, I, I just can't. Because as soon as I looked at it, I realized, I mean, look, there I am surfing in the background. I don't know how to surf in real life, but you know, in my dreams, right? And I'm pretty sure after I'm done with that and I get back to shore, I'm gonna go pick up one of these ice creams here because um, who would say no to a two scoop cone? This is absolutely beautiful. I love this artwork. I love the colors. I'm curious to see what this brand is all about. I mean, this is gonna be some good fun. The next one we have here, she sent me three puzzles. Oh, and a card too. And the last puzzle that she sent me here is from the brand Minty Fizz Puzzles. It is called Stained Windows. It is 500 pieces and it is 20.5 by 15 inches when it's completed. I really do love the use of colors in this image. I feel like this is going to be quite an interesting challenge overall, but a fun one. Now, Becky did say that she just recently became a really big fan of this brand. So I can't wait to experience it myself and see what these pieces are like. And I must say, so far, just looking at this right now, I mean, we got some nice looking pieces here. So this, this looks like it's going to be some good fun. So once again, thank you so much, Becky. I cannot wait to get into all those puzzles. So yeah, those were some of the sets that were sent to me from some of you guys and I also wanted to quickly show you I only have two more here that I received I think this was I got these for my birthday a couple of months ago and one of them is this is too exciting not the brand but I'm talking about the images here and this is a Disney Thomas Kincaid studio for jigsaw puzzle set they're each 500 pieces and for some reason, I can't seem to find the dimensions on this box. But anyways, we have a collection of four different Mickey Mouse images. So you know whether it's a Seiko sad puzzle or not. If it's Mickey, if it's Disney, I'm, I'm going to love it instantly. We have Mickey and Minnie in London, Mickey, Minnie in Greece, Mickey, Minnie in Paris, and Mickey and Minnie in Mexico. So yeah, it looks like as I'm working on each of these puzzle images, I'm going to be taking little trips throughout the world as well. And again, you guys know that I absolutely love Thomas Kincaid. I swear there is, he has not, there has not been one bad image from that studio. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to all of these images. Just the images though not the quality itself. But anyways, either way, I know these are just gonna be so much fun to put together. And what's pretty cool as well is that, you know, I do have some of these Mickey and Minnie puzzle sets, but this was a collection that just so happened to have images that I do not currently have, which is fantastic. And then the last puzzle that was given to me for my birthday is one from, I believe from Japan. And I, don't actually have the name here of it. Actually, I think I do. It says Disney character jigsaw puzzle. I think, I don't know. But it is 1000 pieces and it's 29.7 by 42 centimeters when it's completed. And the brand is Tenyo. Now this is interesting because I do remember that I had put this particular puzzle set in my Amazon wish list, which was how um, my sister got it for me for my for my birthday but I believe if I remember correctly what makes this very interesting is that these pieces are meant to be really small and I don't know if that's gonna be a good thing for me or a bad thing when you know when it comes time for me to work on it because you know we this is a pretty intricate image here we got a lot going on and a lot of different scenes from different movies and whatnot and you know it has that that golden frame around it too so if this is what I think it is in terms of piece size, I feel like this is going to be super challenging. It may even be one of my most challenging puzzles yet. I don't know. Again, I could be wrong. They sound pretty small in there. So you know what? This will be uh, quite an interesting experience, but one that I am looking forward to. So yeah, those are the puzzles that I've, I've had sat here and kind of need to be reorganized a bit. I, I really want to put this with my other um, four, four puzzle sets. So you know what? Let's see if we can do that quickly. 
probably in the process, you know, I think it'd probably be best to uh, get a Swiffer cloth and dust. I hope you cannot actually see the, the level of dust on my shelves, but pretend I didn't say that. Anyways, let's see how we can kind of rearrange this area a little bit, not too much, and see what we can do on the main shelf. All right, let's do it. So I kind of rearranged my Disney branded puzzles on these two shelves again. Well, actually, now that I think about it, these are not all Disney branded puzzle. Up here we have the Truffle 9000 piece, and then here is the Seiko brand. But down here are the Disney puzzles. That's what I meant. But anyways, I'm I'm pretty happy with this. This looks this looks pretty good. And I have my can holders up here, so I'm happy with that shelf. As for the other puzzle set from Seiko that I got, I put it with the rest of the Seiko sets here. And now I need to figure out where I'm gonna put these puzzles in terms of like how I have everything arranged here. Now I kind of feel like I don't wanna do anything more on this shelf really, because to be honest, I don't wanna change what we got going on. But now that I'm looking at this side here, I kind of feel like there's some puzzles in here that I can probably put on the side to give away. Now let's see here. I have to put my other Spin Master set here, but I'm kind of feeling like this might be one that I'm okay to give to someone else and possibly this KI puzzle as well. I love this image, but I think someone else can enjoy this one and, you know, gives me more room on the shelf, which is great. All right, to be honest, I think out of everything here so far, those these were the only two puzzles that I think I could put to the side. So let's do that. Um, I'm not really sure what to put in this gap. I need to figure this out. This is this looks a little silly, but let's see what we can do on the other shelf real quick. quickie reorganize there. This looks a lot better now. One thing I do realize though is that I did forget to get the Swiffer cloth. So yeah, it's still dusty, but that's okay. We'll leave that for another day. So yeah, this looks better. We don't have the boxes there anymore. This pretty much stayed the same aside from taking out a couple of sets from that shelf and putting that four piece set there. And my giveaway pile is growing which I guess is a good thing really, because that means I'm making space for some new sets. I don't know why I have this here in front of the camera. I shouldn't have done that. But anyways, um, in regards to this giveaway pile here, um, I'm kind of playing around with a couple of ideas. Now I could just take this to the thrift store, which would be, you know, great, but I kind of feel like I want to give them away to some of you guys. Now, in terms of how I'm going to do that, I'm not really sure. But I mean, uh, really the question is, would, would you guys be interested in some of these? Because if so, I'm thinking maybe, you know, having my first giveaway. I kind of think that'll be the best bet really, because I do have a lot of puzzle sets here. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to go about it, like doing the giveaway through a video or doing a live i i'm really at this very moment i haven't the slightest clue how i'm gonna go about it i i've never done a giveaway before but you know we'll see if you guys can let me know down below i mean would you be interested in any of these puzzles if i did do a giveaway yeah i mean i've, I've got a pretty pretty big selection going on here so Either way, I'm gonna keep you guys posted on what I do regarding this and how I'm gonna go about it. Hey guys, so I thought I'd jump in here real quick cause I'm just editing the video right now and I realized I forgot to mention something when I was filming. 
So in regards to you knowing about any updates that I've announced in terms of like the giveaways or what and whatnot, I do have an area on my channel where I post updates and YouTube does have a kind of a strange way on how they decide which post gets shown on your YouTube homepage. So if you're if you're looking to see if I have written anything recently with updates and whatnot all you need to do is go to my channel page and there you're gonna see a button or a tab that says community and once you click on that you're gonna see all my postings and i try to post in there at least once a week but that's basically where i keep you guys updated on what the next video is going to be about what i'm currently working on and any other ramblings that i just throw in there and there you can also leave comments and questions and as long as youtube notifies me sometimes for some reason their apps and, and their things just don't work properly i'll you know i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you so happen to be on my Discord server as well, I write the same post in the announcements channel. So there, I it's the same thing. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Let's get back to the video. All right, so we've pretty much got done here what I really wanted to get done, which is a huge weight off my back and finally something that I can check off my list. Now, in regards to future videos, as I said, I'm thinking about, you know, doing a giveaway for these. But there's also some other topics that I know I've mentioned in the past that I said I was going to work on and, and haven't yet, but I do plan to soon. And that is, I do have right over here, now that I'm looking at it, the three Milton Bradley puzzles from different decades. And I know that was something that I mentioned last year that I wanted to do. So I think I'm going to make a point to get that done very soon. And of course, I have all these new brands that I, that I have picked up in the last couple months or so and ones that were sent to me that I know I need to get through. What I do know is coming up very soon because I've already filmed the first part of it is my experience with a magic puzzle company puzzle. And a lot of you are looking forward to me trying it. So just so you know, that's coming up very soon. And of course, you know, I do have a lot of the budget puzzles as well. There's a couple that I still want to try, try from Dollar Tree that I know I tried the others in the past and said I was going to do like, I think it was the 500 count pieces that I have to definitely get into very soon. And there are other puzzles that I picked up from Dollar General as well. Like I have Cardinal and some other Sherlock puzzles. And I also want to do a comparison of the Rose Art puzzles because I know I did pick one up or a few up from Dollar Tree for $3. But I also have a Rose Art set that I paid more for. And I know some of you mentioned as well, you were also curious if there was really any quality difference between the $3 puzzle and the more expensive one. So that would for sure make for an interesting video. I'm looking to see what else we have here. There's, there's so many of them. I have so many potential videos that I can do and so little time in the world and horrible planning skills. But anyways, if there are other types of videos that you would like to see me work on, please let me know down below your, some of your ideas. As I briefly mentioned before, I am considering doing a live video at some point. I'm not really sure how to go about that or when I would do it. I know a lot of you, a lot of you are, you know, in different parts of the world in different time zones. So that part's going to be a little tricky, but that is definitely something that I I do plan to do at some point very soon. But anyways, once again, thank you to Laura, Becky, and Perry for those awesome puzzle sets. And also thanks to all of you for all of your support. And now I need to continue on filming this current project that I'm working on and, you know, try to work on my scheduling a little better for the, for the next few months because I do know in June, I am going to be going away for a couple of weeks. I'm leaving the country. So I need to kind of figure out how I'm gonna go about, you know, getting ahead with the video so that you guys do have something to watch while I'm away. There may be a week or so that I might be missing a video, but that's okay. Either way, I really need to try to get ahead with some projects that I have here because I'm really looking forward to working on them. Now, if you're new here and you're looking for a place where you can share your own, you know, puzzle stashes that you have hiding throughout your room or, you know, share your puzzle space with other puzzlers, I do have a community that you can join. And I'm going to leave a link to that down below so that you can look more into it. But aside from that, I kind of need to get off of this floor because it's very hard and I'm starting to hurt. So once again, guys, 
Thank you for all of your support. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in the next one.